गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो वी हैव सीन फ्यू एग्जांपल्स इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर राइट स्टूडेंट्स आर स्टिल जॉइनिंग स्टूडेंट्स आई आई स्टार्ट माय लेक्चर एग्जैक्टली ऑन टाइम आई नॉट वेट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स यू सी दैट यू जॉइन योर लेक्चर ऑन टाइम okay so um, we have seen few example if you remember what example we have seen in our last lecture it is uh what was that ends with ends with 101 if you remember right we have seen ends with 101 and then after that we have seen contains 101 i hope you got the different students is there any doubt in what is the difference between ends with and contains ma'am uh, can you explain uh, uh, contains again contains okay see if i take a example okay this is my example okay so now uh we'll uh, check both okay first we'll see uh ends with it will uh, the machine starts from this element okay it starts from this element then in, it is che uh, checking or it is searching for 101 it will start from this element then it will move to this and it will move to this it got 101 right but our question is ends with so it will go to the next element and see that there are few more elements and again it will start for searching 101 okay it will search for 101 it it will search here it will search here it will go just read all those changing the states it will read all these elements okay and here 101 it will reach here and then again it will read the next one and see that there is no element so it ends with 101 so this is ends with now again we'll see for contains how it works it will start from this okay it will see here it will read the next one it got 101 here right once it gets 101 once it gets 101 what is contains wherever in the string it should have 101 right so it got 101 now here so what it will do it will be in the accepting state what do you mean by accepting state it will be in the same final state okay it will not change the state though it is reading the next element okay the machine reads all the element it will read all the element till it get a blank okay blank is marked as b and a dash students you have to remember this okay the blank is represented with b and a dash it is blank okay blank representation okay as i said what it will do what the machine will do it will read 101 here and it says that it is accepted whatever is after that and it will read till blank still it is in accepting state or the final state okay for this convention what we have done here for what we have done here after we get 101 after we get 101 the string should be accepted whatever is after that so what we have done we are in the accepting state itself that is our final state itself we are in q3 did you get this did you get this yes no. okay any other doubt students any other doubt do you get the difference between ends with and contains is there any other doubt let me know is there any other doubt clear 
because the next example is again uh, on this itself. So you have to know this. If you have understood this, then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, fine. If you have understood this, then our next example is does not contain 101. What it is, it is does not contain 101. Again, I'll take the same example. Okay, I'll do a bit of change here. I'll take zero here and I'll take 101 somewhere here. Okay. So now it is starting with one, then zero. It will read, it will search, right? It will search for 101. Okay. See what we what is the next example, students? It does not contain 101. The string should not contain. The string should not contain, does not contain 101. So what we want here? We are again searching for 101. Understand the concept. We are again searching for 101. We are not searching for other elements, right? Because it is easier to search for 101, which we don't need. 101 mil gaya, then reject. Otherwise, accept. I hope you are getting me. Okay. So what it will do? It will again search for 101. Okay. I got till here. Then it will read the next one. It got one then zero and one so it got one zero one right so what it has to do it has to reject okay whatever it is reading after this whatever it is reading after this it has to reject okay so now for that what has to be done what will be our final see again we are searching for one zero one students i hope you are getting me Again, yeah. we are searching for 101. So our states will be same. Right? Are you understanding this? Are you understanding this? Okay. The states will be same because again, we are searching for 101. So my Q0, QS will be start state. Q0 will be read 0. Q1 will be read 1. Q2 and Q3 will be 101. This will be as it is. Start state will be QS. That will also be as it is. What will be my final state now? What will be my final state? Any one of you? What will be my final state? 101 So Q3 hame nahi chahiye. Whatever I get other than Q in 101, it should be accepted. Do you agree with me? Right? If I get 101, it should reject. Otherwise, it should be accepted. Right? So what will be my final state? They just says Q2. Okay. Any other answer? Uh, why don't we need Q3? Because Q3 me 101 hai. Or String may have 101 nahi chaye. Preeti says Q0, Q1, Q2. Uh, Saurav says Q1. Okay, good going. Any other answer? Any other answers? Ojas, did you understand why we don't want Q3 here? Did you understand yes, this? Okay. Which will be? Uh, no, ma'am. Can you explain it again? Yes, stages. What the question is? Question is, we don't require 101. Right? We don't require 101. So, Q3 cannot be our final state because one, Q3 may have 101. Hai. We have 101 in Q3 and the question is 101 should not be accepted final state matlab kya? what is the meaning of final state the string is accepted if the string is in if uh, the given string reaches the final state at the end of the string okay then it is accepted agar mere pas 101 hai so it should be rejected. So the final state should be non-final, right? 
one zero one should be non-final state because I don't want to accept the string. Are you getting Tejas, Ojas? Did you get this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So this cannot be my final state, right? Uh, who is that? Ruchita, I think, said it's Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay. Saurav says Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay. Good. Preeti says Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay. Q0, Q1, Q2 is right. What has uh, QS done? QS ne kya kiya hai aap logon ko? Why not QS? QS may be to 101 nahi hai na? Right? So, other than 101, that is Q3, all other become your final state, including start state, that is your null string. I hope you are getting, okay, you are understanding? Okay, so other than Q3, all other become final state you have to remember when you have does not contain when you have does not contain other than the string we are we are searching for all other becomes final state okay once we reach q3 once we reach q3 jaise humne abhi is example mein dekha what will be yahan pe kya aega what we have to write here once we reach Q3, that is once I get 101, once I get 101, whatever I have, whatever I have after this, it should be rejected because I get 101, right? It should be in non-accepting state itself, right? Non-accepting state is our Q3. So, here Q3 hi aega. Yes, Preeti, right. Very good, right? Uh, once I get 101, 101, it should be rejected. Yaha pe 101 aya to bhi, it should be rejected anywhere in the string. If I get 101, it should just reject after that. Whatever is after that. Okay. Yaha pe kuch bhi ho. Since we get 101 in the string, we should reject it. Re reject this string. Because the question is, the string should not contain 101. Okay, so here we have Q3. Okay, usually what we do students is the, uh, the uh, when we have does not contain, when we have does not contain this Q3, this non-accepting state is known as dead state. This state is known as dead state. Okay, you need not write uh, circle this. I'm just explaining. This uh, state is known as dead state. Well, what is that dead state? After this, it is just rejected. After the machine reaches this state, it this whatever string you get after that, whatever elements or whatever symbols, whatever input you get after that is just rejected. So this is known as dead state. We can say dead end like. Hai na? Ek baar dead end aagya, to khatam, right? Same way, here we have dead state. Okay? And usually we represent this as QD rather than Q3. You can even write it as Q3. There is no issue at all. Okay? But usually that is our conviction that we write it as QD. Even if you write Q3, no problem, okay? But since it is dead state, we write it as QD, okay? So, I have to change it here too, right? It is QD. I hope is, is, this is uh, clear. We never write QS in table. Then how QS can be final? Why we don't write QS in uh, the table, Preeti? Why don't we write QS in the table? We write, we do write. We have written here the start state. Hmm. 
we write the start state, the null uh, string is also accepted. Not in first column. I didn't get. Pretty, can you unmute yourself and ask the question? I didn't get you. We write this. We write this start state in the first column itself, first row itself. We always do this. You want me to explain this? Okay. We have already done this in uh, from previous. Okay. Start state. Start state. There is nothing. I hope this uh, states are clear. Is there any doubt in the state students? Is there any doubt in the states? Okay. Why we have taken the states? We want 101. Take the base, zero, start state, 0 and 1. Ye to hamesha rahega koi bhi string ho. After that, start reading from the left hand side. Okay. 1, then 1, 0, and then 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Then we have taken the state. Start state and a zero. There is nothing and a zero. There is nothing and a zero. So it is read zero. Here we are reading zero. Read zero is Q zero. So go to Q zero. Start state. There is nothing and a one. So we are reading one. Read one. Do we have read one? Yes, it is Q one. So write Q one here. Yaha pe kya ho gaya bhi? Already we have a zero and we are reading another zero. So we are reading 0, 0 here. We don't have 0, 0. Do we have 0, 0? No, we don't have 0, 0. Okay. So what we have to do? You, I hope you remember 0, 0. Okay. Take out the leftmost. Take out the leftmost. One bit at a time. Okay. Take out the leftmost. You get 0. So read 0. Read 0 is in Q0. So write Q0. Next is 0, 1. 0, 1. Do we have 0, 1? Read 0, 1? No. So take out the leftmost. We have 1. So read 1. Read 1 is in Q1. So go to Q1. Now I have 1 here. Q1 ka matlab hai 1. Okay? 1. And I am reading 0 here. 1, 0. 1, 0. Do we have 1, 0? Yes, we have 1, 0 at Q2. So go to Q2. Okay, next here we are reading 1, 1. We are reading 1, 1. 1 yaha se or 1 yaha se. We are reading 1, 1. Do we have 1, 1? We don't have 1, 1. Okay, so remove the leftmost. We have 1? Yes, we have 1. Q1. So go to Q1. Okay, then 1, 0. We have 1, 0 here and 1, and our 0 here. So it is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0. Do we have 1, 0, 0? No. So what we have to do? Take 1, 0, 1 and remove the leftmost. 0, 1. Do we have 0, 1? No. Then remove the leftmost. 1. Do we have 1? Yes. Q1. So write Q1 here. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was doing this, right? 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 is done. 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. Q2101. Do we have 101? Yes, it is at QD. So it is QD. Okay, as I explained, QD, once it reaches QD, it is always QD. That is dead state. Once it is QD, it is always QD because it is non accepting state. Once it reaches the rejecting state, after the rejecting state, it is always a rejecting state, dead state. Okay, is this clear? Who had asked this? Yes, ma'am, it's clear. Okay. Okay, any doubt in the students? Any doubt? Shall we move on to the next example? Somebody asked me something. What is that? Ma'am, can you please solve one example on this? Yes, question. Let's solve then. Okay, I'll take 
one example one 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 zero one zero zero okay and a blank uh, here uh, again i am uh, telling you blank is represented with b and a slash okay what is our start state qs is our start state start from start state take the example whatever you have written fine then qs on one go to the state table qs on one qs on one if you see qs on one qs on one is q1 okay write q1 So QS, QS on one, QS on one is Q1. So I've written Q1 here. Okay, so this bit is done. This bit is done. So take the remaining one, one, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, next Q1 on one, Q1 on one, Q1 on one is again Q1. So write Q1 here, take out that one. Remaining is one zero one zero zero. Q one on one. Q one on one is Q one again. Q one. Take out that one and write the remaining zero one zero zero. Okay. Now Q one on zero. Q one on zero is Q two. Write Q two here. Take out that zero. Remaining is one zero zero. Okay, Q two, Q two on one, Q two on one is Q D, Q D, Q D zero zero. Then Q D on anything is Q D, right? So Q D zero, then Q D, Q D on zero is also Q D. After this, we don't have anything, so it is rejected. Okay, now I can write here the string. is rejected okay if you see it contains 101 since it contains 101 it should be rejected and we got it as rejected so whatever we have designed the machine is right is this clear is this clear can you ask me yes ma'am okay. it's clear thank you okay. shall we move on to the next example then okay now uh yes ruchit one more time so i have taken this example right i have taken this example 111100 and a blank okay start with the start state start with the start state and take the example whatever you have written qs on 1 okay go to the state table qs on 1 QS on one is Q one, QS on one is Q one. Write the state and write the remaining. Leave this. ये वाला छोड़ दो. ये हो गया, right? So go to the next bits. One one zero one zero zero. Okay, then Q one on one, Q one on one. Go to the state table and check. Q one on one is Q one. So write Q one again here. Okay, and leave this bit and go further. So remaining is one zero one zero zero. Now Q one on one again. Q one on one. Q one. Q one. Okay. Leave this and go to the next one. Now Q one on zero. Q one on zero. Read the state whatever you have written and the first element whatever you have written on the right hand side. Okay. So Q one on zero. Q one on zero. Q one on zero is Q two. Okay. Q two. And leave this one and write the other remaining string. So Q two on one, Q two on one. If you see here, Q two on one, Q two on one, Q two on one is dead state. So write Q D, Q D on remaining zero zero, Q D zero zero, Q D on zero. You have to read only one element from the right hand side. Q D on zero, 
QD on zero. QD on zero is QD. So write QD. Remaining is only zero now. QD on zero. QD on zero is QD. Write QD. And lastly, what we got? Dead state. So the string is rejected. Rujit, is this clear? Okay. Others, I hope it is clear. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall we move on to the next example then? Fine. So what we have done till now, we have done ends with, we have done contains, and we have done does not contain. The last one from this is, the last one from this is starts with. The string should starts start with, the string should start with 101. The string should start with 101. Again, your states will be same, right? The states will be same. So we have the same state. What we have? We have QS start state. We have Q0 for, for 0, okay, reads. 0 then we have q1 which is reading 1 i'm just writing this you have you shouldn't write like this okay to make it fast i'm just writing this then uh, q2 yeah, q3 q3 is 101 okay so starts with 101 which is our final state students which will be our final state which will be our final state which starts with 101. We are searching for 101 again, right? Yes, right. Shraddha, yes, yes, Rahul, everyone is has given the right answer. Very good. So, so not Q1, Q3. Okay, we are searching for 101 and we want 101. So, Q3 is our final state. Okay, what changes does the state table have? Let's see. Okay. Students, please help me out in this. So we have 0, 1, Q, S, Q, 0, Q, 1, Q, 2, and Q, 3. Mark the start state. Mark the final state. Okay. So now, QS on 0. QS on 0. Kya hoga? QS on 0. QS on 0. What do you mean by QS? QS is the start state, initial state. Hai na? Right? Students, listen carefully. QS is our start state, initial state. We have nothing and we are reading a zero. Matlab, the string is starting with zero, right? And what is the question? What is the question? The question is, the string should start with 101. Matlab, sorry. What is the meaning of starts with 101? It shouldn't start with 0, right? It should start with 1. Are you getting? If I get a 0 here, I should reject then and there itself. Right. You are right now. Yes. It is QD. I should have a state QD. Yes. Very good. You are getting it now. Very good. So QS on 0 will go to QD because it shouldn't start with 0. It should start with 1. QS on 1 goes to Q1. Right? Then uh, we'll come to this later. Q0. Okay. What is this? This is 0. This is 1. This is 1, 0. And this is 1, 0, one. Okay, we'll come to this later. Q0. Okay, Q1 on 0. Q1 on 0. 
students help me out fatafat yes it is nikunj is right it is q2 one 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 yes again it goes to qd because we want the string should start with 101 yes very good you are getting it right now yes it is qd okay 100 100 qd again very good yes very good 101 it is q3 yes it goes to q3 okay now coming to this 101 on 0 101 10 0 what should i write here it's q3 once it starts with q101 uh, whatever is after that whatever is after that it should be accepted right whatever is after 101 kuch bhi ho yahan pe it should be accepted because it has already started with 101 okay and what i should write here in qd what should i write here once it is rejected it is, the string is always rejected whatever is after that right so yahan pe aayega q so if you see we don't require this okay we don't require this you can remove that i hope this is clear because the string is not starting with zero we are we don't require q0 here okay clear students all four examples are clear do you have any doubt in these four example that we have seen okay is your uh, is ends with clear is contains clear is does not contain clear is starts with clear okay we have seen we have taken one string 101 and we have seen four different example on the same string contains does not contain ends with starts with okay you may get any uh, any of this and the string may obviously change i have taken 101 they may give any example it may be 3 bit it may be 4 bit it may be 5 bit any depending on uh, the string you have to frame the states and depending on the question that is contains ends with you have to frame the final state okay i hope this type of uh, problem is clear okay so we'll move on to the next type of example okay so uh, finite automata with numerical uh, we have done that is numbers three different uh, four different number system we have done decimal number we have done binary number we have done ternary number and we have done unary number okay divisible by 3 4 5 we have done so that uh, that was one type of uh, one set of uh, type set and the next type is strings ending with contains does not contain and starts with okay we have done two sets okay so next example we'll see is design finite automata to check validity of the input if it does not contain double of occurrence of letter over a comma b okay what is the meaning what is the meaning of the question the question says that double occurrence of any letter double occurrence of any letter over a comma b matlab hamare paas kya nahi hona chahiye what we should not have double occurrence of any letter over a comma b yes yes kushal is right yes she is right we shouldn't have a a or b b repetition we shouldn't have any repetition of a's and b's that is the question okay so what will be my state students state kya hoga 
obviously start state what else will have what else will have q0 very good q0 reads a yes then q1 reads b very good these are the base so we should have this okay then any other do we have any other yes utkarsh right yes sir q1 reads b any other or is this enough any other states q2 reads a a okay q2 reads a a will have that okay any other q2 q qd okay see you can have q2 reads a a and q3 reads b b or even this is right even this is right but instead of this instead of this what we can have we can have dead state when it reads a a and b b we can have dead state other than q uh, q2 and q3 we can combine it to read a a and b b because we don't want either a a or b b hame dono nahi chahiye a a even if it reads a a it will go to dead state even if it read b b it will go to dead state so what we'll do we'll combine a a and b b together and we'll have single dead state okay uh students one thing you have to remember even you want you can put q2 reads a a q3 reads b b and both are dead state q2 and q3 both are dead state or we can have a single state q d as a dead state both will be right okay don't put three a a reads a r sorry uh, q2 reads a a q3 reads b b and then dead state no you can have q2 q3 dono dead state a a b b or a single dead state for both together i hope you are getting me samajh mein aa raha hai what i am saying okay so with this dead state will will do input r a and b okay input r a and b so q s q 0 q 1 and q d final state kya hai which is our final state mark the start state which is our final state yes it is q s q 0 and q 1 Q S, Q zero, and Q one. Okay, fine. Help me out, students, quickly. Q S on A. Q S on A. Yes, Q zero. Very good. Q S on B. Q one. Q zero on A. Q zero on A is Q D. Very good. Yes, it is Q D. Q zero on B. Q zero on B. It is Q one. Q one on A. Q one on A. Q one on A is Q zero. Yes. Q one on B, Q one on B, Q D. Very good, very good. Right? It this is reading B, and after that again B, then go to the dead state. Okay? And once you are in the dead state, यहाँ पे क्या लिखना है हमें? What we have to write here? Once it is in the dead state, it is always in the dead state. So it is Q D, Q D. 
Is this clear, students? Okay. So, what what was the question? No double occurrence of A and B. No double occurrence of A and B. So we shouldn't have A A either A A or B B. दोनों हमें नहीं चाहिए. So दोनों मिला के हमने एक ही dead state बनाया. Okay? यहाँ पे अगर आप लोग reads A A reads B B करते, तो you would have two dead states here. Reads A A Q two, reads B B Q three. So Q two would be in Q two itself. Q three would be in Q three itself here. Okay? And दोनों would be your dead state. Okay, so that was your uh, double occurrence of letter. Then next is design finite automata to check whether given input contains at least three A's. Okay, contains at least three A's. What is the meaning of contains at least three A's? The string should contain at least three A. Okay. So the string should contain at least three a. Three or more than three. Yes, right. Minimum three. Yes, very good. It should have at least three a's. Okay, like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it is accepted. Okay, minimum three. Yes, the string should contain at least three a. मतलब Three or more than three, minimum three. The string should contain minimum three. What I want to stress here is they did not ask you, like it should be a a a. Okay, it is not a a a. Anywhere in the string, it can have a, but it should be three or more than three. Okay, I hope you got the question. Okay, they did not ask you the substring a a a. They have asked you number of a's should be three or more than three or minimum three. Okay, so depending on this, then what will be our state? Q S start state. Okay, tell me now. Next Q zero. Q zero. What will be Q zero? What will be Q zero? Student, what will be our states? Help me out quickly. Reads A. Okay, reads A. Okay. What will be Q one? Reads B. Reads B. Okay. Fine. Then Q two. Q two. Reads A A. Then Q three. Reads four is Utkarsh. Is it so? Three is now. Rushikesh says B B. Some even someone else said B B. बच्चा अगर ऐसे लिखते गए तो बहुत सारे हो जाएंगे A A A A B B B B C C A like A A A A A and so on. Right? We are not we are not uh, concentrating on this. Reads A reads A A. Student, please again, again think on this. What we require? Karthik, number of a is equal to zero. Number of a is equal to one. Yes, Karthik, very good. Students, please concentrate on the states again. What is required and what you are writing? We are not searching for substring here. We are counting. Yes, yes, right. We are. Counting, we are counting number of e's, right? We are counting number of e's. So what should be the answer then? Does should it be read say b a a a a a? No. What is the meaning of your reading a a a? 
We are searching for the substring a a a. Students, please listen carefully. If you write reads a a a ka matlab, you are searching for the substring a a a. Matlab teen a continuously you are searching for. You are searching for a string a a a. You are searching for a substring a a a. But here in the question given. We are not searching for the substring. We are counting the number of a's, right? So, so is is my states right now? What should be our states? What should be our states then? What should be our states? What will write then? What will write? Will write. Number of A's one. Number of A's two. Number of A's three. Any doubt, students? Any doubt? हमने वैसे क्यों नहीं लिखा? ऐसे क्यों लिखा? Any doubt, students? I hope I have made this clear. Okay, why we haven't uh, taken that, but we have taken numbers, right? We are not searching for substring; we are counting number of a's. So we have to take this in the same manner. What should be our uh, states? Okay, so what we'll have? We'll have a start state. We'll have Q zero number of a's z one, Q one number of uh, a's two. Q two number of A's three. Since three is our minimum requirement, that is, we are searching for three A's. We'll stop for three A's. Okay. So tell me now, what will be our state table? We'll have A. We'll have B. We'll have Q S. Q zero. What will be my final state, students? What will be my final state? It is Q two. Very good. So mark the start state. Mark the final state. Again, I am repeating. Mark the start state and the final state in the state table and transition diagram. Okay. Fine. Q S on A. There is nothing, and I am reading A. So I got one A right. So go to one a. One a is in Q zero. So we'll go to Q zero. Okay, tell me this now. Q s means I have nothing, and I'm reading a b. कहाँ पे जाना है? There is nothing, and I'm reading a b. Yes, Shraddha. Very good. What do you mean by Q s? Zero is right, and I'm reading a b. Again, number of A's are zero only, right? The number of A's has not increased when we read a B. So B in the same state Q S because number of A's are zero still. Now I have one. When I am in Q zero, number of A's are one, right? When I have Q zero, number of A's are one, and I am reading one more A. So I have two A's. Two A's is in Q one. Yes, very good. You are getting it now, right? Very good. Q zero on B. Q zero on B. Yes, very good. So it is Q zero. Very good. Wonderful. बहुत होशियार है मेरे बच्चे. Q one on A. Q one on A. Yes. Q two. Yes, very good. Q one on B. Q1 on B, Khatib. Q1 on B, it is Q1. Yes, very good. Okay, now tell me Q2 on A. Q2 मतलब मेरा three A's हो गया और एक A read कर रही हूँ मैं. So what should I write here? Q2. Yes, because it is accepted because they have said three or more. So three in के बाद कितने भी आए. It should accept Q two on B. <clears throat> Q 
Q2 again. <coughs> I'm sorry. Q2 on B, Q2 again, right? Because if we already have three A's, after that, whatever string we get, it should be accepted. Students, any doubt in this? Any doubt in this example? Q0 on B. Somebody ask Q0 on B. Who is that? Uh, Ma'am, that's me. Uh, Q0 on B, I didn't understood that. Yes, yes, yes. What do you mean by Q0? Q0 ka matlab hai, I have one A. Right, this is one A. This is two A. This is three A. Okay, I'll take an example. I got a B. I got a A. I got B again. I got B again. Okay. So when I started with this, my number of A's is zero. Right? Here, when I came here, number of A is one. Okay. When I read a B, what is number of A? It is one itself. Number of A's are not changing. Right? I have one A, I have read one A. When I'm in Q0, matlab, I have read one A and I'm reading a B. Does it change number of A's when I read a B? No, no. still one. Still it is one. So one A is in Q0, so it will be in Q0. Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay, fine. Any other students, any other doubt? Any others? Others, fine, fine. On the same basis, we'll move on to the next example. Abhi humne kya kiya? Accept at least three A. At least three A. Next question is at most three A. Next question is at most three A. What do you mean by at most three A? Maximum three, yes, very good. Maximum three. Three se zyada aya to it should reject. Right? 3 says zyada aya to it should reject. Less than or equal to 3. Yes. Yes. Right. So, what should I uh, um, uh, do here? Shall I uh, make the changes here itself? Shall we make the changes here itself? Okay. So, uh, what will have, what, what will be my uh, final state? What will be my final state? You should have QD. Yes, very good. You should have QD, but final state will be not QD, right? This is dead state. Yes. Yes, yes, three, right. Q2, Q1. Q0 and QS. All these will be my final state. I have to add QD here, right? I have to add QD here for the dead state. Matlab, more than three. Number of A's are more than three. Okay, fine. So what changes should I make here? Is there any changes I have to make here? Q2 on A. Yes says Q2 on A should be changed. Do you agree students? Q2 on A should be changed. Q2 on A should be changed. Right? Yes. Rushikesh Q2 on A should be changed. And what will happen QD. Right? Because 3A ho gaya and I am reading one more A which is not required, so I have to go to dead state, non-accepting state. Is this right? Students, is this right? Should I make change here? Is this right? Okay. No changes has to be made. Very good. So three A's and a B, when there are three A's and I read a B, there is no changes in number of A's, right? So it should be accepted. It shouldn't be rejected, right? So once I reach QD, obviously it will be dead state. QD, QD. 
okay so this was for at most 3a this was for at most 3a okay the next example is exactly 3a's i'll take this last example exactly 3a's exactly 3a's so what changes should i make in this example in this take table what changes should i make in this table to make the same table exactly 3a's we have seen now at least and at most ho gaya abhi exactly 3a's chahiye q2 as dead state i have to make q2 as dead state is it nikunj q2 will be dead state Uh, bachcha it is not final uh, uh, dead state q0 and q1 cannot be final state because to reach q2 we require q0 q1 so q0 q1 cannot be dead state dead state humne alag se yahan pe liya hai students please understand between the non final state and the dead state dead state matlab ek bar dead state pe aa gaya to it is rejected completely लेकिन Q2 to reach Q2 we require Q0 right to reach Q2 we require Q0 and Q1 this cannot be dead state it is non final state i hope you are understanding i hope you are understanding difference between dead state and non final state okay so this cannot be no dead state yeah. okay you are right so it is non final state okay fine is this right now is this the answer or you want to make some more changes for exactly 3 a's for exactly 3 a's is this the answer just check if this is the answer fine if this is not the answer then what changes what more changes you want to make exactly 3 a 3 a aa gaya uske baad fourth a aaya to dead state 3 a q2 and this any other changes any other changes required in this state table any other changes required in the state table students okay no other changes required this that's it okay see we have 3a if i get a fourth a then dead state if i get 2a it is non final state so obviously the string is rejected okay if i get 1a the, the string is in non final state so it will reject okay so this is your exactly 3 a okay so we have done with this finite automata to check whether given input contains exactly 3 a's okay that's all for today we'll stop here it's already 12 14 i hope you understood all the example uh if there is any doubt let me know Okay, I have uh, put pasted the link, uh, attendance link in the chat box. Please fill your attendance. If you find any doubt in the examples, any of the example, let me know. Okay. Uh, and students, one more request: please practice the questions. Otherwise, you'll forget uh, at the end. Okay. Thank you for today. We'll see in the. We'll meet in the next lecture. 
with uh, the can you new... share the slides yes i'll share i have completed this i'll share this yes okay okay we'll meet maybe even in uh, during your practicals in the college next week see you students bye take care Yes, Kushal, we'll do that. Okay, ma'am. Thank you.